Hello, hello. Good evening, welcome guys. Hello, Nelson. Hello, hello Linda. Good evening. Hello, Jaime. Hi, Patricia. Patricia, be careful. Thank you for joining. Okay, guys. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, Ismael. Okay, guys, let's wait just two more minutes to um, start the class because I know that we are just a few. Solo somos un poco, so vamos a esperar unos dos minutitos más so we will go through the attendance list, okay? Thank you for being on time. Thank you, guys. Hello, hello guys, welcome. Thank you for joining on hello. time. Hello, uh, Stefania, hello, Lucy. Hello, Christian, ayúdame a poner todo su nombre, Christian. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Melissa. Hello, Fatima. Hello. ¿Cómo están, guys? How are you? Good. Good teacher. Great. Uh, I, I'm ready for this class. Wow, that's the attitude. <laughs> so guys, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, Did you, you celebrate teacher. today? Thank you too. <laughs> thank you. Celebraron guys? No? ¿Qué le dieron? Un mm -hmm. osito. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A teddy bear, roses, or you, 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 gi you gave to another person. Did you give this to another person? I mean, to your wife, your <laughs> husband, your boyfriend. I give um, some, fan, your some girlfriend. chocolate and candies. Wow. ¿Qué tal está? Oh, my God. <laughs> No, a mí me, a mí me dieron. Ah. The, the, the students. Ay, the students are so special. The students. 
Pero ustedes no me mandaron nada. <risa> no, I'm just kidding. No se lo ha ganado. Voy a apagar la cámara. Y voy a llorar. Now let me cry. I'm crying right now. Thank you, Luis. <laughs> escuchan, that's escuchan mi llanto, ven. Escuchan. Ya that's not you. true, teacher. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Otra vez llorando. <laughs> okay, Malo, you're so mean, Luis. <laughs> Con cariño, teacher. Todavía con cariño. No, al menos, al menos con cariño. Ok, guys. So, let me go through the attendance, please, ok? Uh, Patricia, hello. Welcome, Patricia. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Eh, I... Quiero, ay, no, estoy bien. Gracias a Dios. Amén. Ok. Happy, um, Valentine. Happy Valentine Day a todos. Happy Valentine Day, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Ok, guys. So, good, evening. good evening, Sabrina. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine with yeah. cold. It's cold, right? Yes, it's cold. Wow. Like if it, if it is Christmas or oh, 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 if it is October, right? <laughs> so, because of the climate. Okay, guys. So, let me go through the attendance list right now. And please help me out to turn on the camera. And to say your, I mean, to say present whenever I say your name. Allow me just a moment, please. And let me go through this. Let's see. How are you, Sabrina? Good? How's your Valentine's Day going? Thanks, thanks. Tired. Tired. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, let's see. So, Angela Estefania Marroquín Martínez. Celina <laughs> Margarita Ramírez de Cristian José López Pérez. Hello, Cristian. Hello. Eric Mauricio Rendre Renderos Tomasino. Guys, alguien ha visto a Eric. Oh my God, do you know why he's not coming anymore? A mí no me contestó. And Francisco either. Okay. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Okay, Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Um, let me see. Jacqueline Liliana Barre Hernández. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present, teacher. José Ovidio Flores Rivas. Lina, Linda Magali García Montoya. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Is not here, teacher. right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Luis. Marcos Antonio Gómez García. Uy, no. Marcos Antonio no, Melgar teacher, Pérez. No. <laughs> Ve, usted, Luis, tiene algo en contra mía. Siempre me hace confundirme. Es que fíjese que en la lista, los primeros que 13 o 14, dentro de los primeros usted es el último. Entonces a veces cuando lo subo, vuelvo a ver su, su nombre. And I start reading it again. That's why. <laughs> so Marcos is not here yet, right? Let's see. 
Milton Hernández Sola. Um, Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rosa Acalia Conrado Quijada. Present. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Present. Today is my turn of 101, really? Yes, no. thank you. Yes. <laughs> no, let me see. No, sorry, it's Rosa. Rosa? Oh, ya lo tuve con usted, Rosa. Oh my God. No, teacher, ya. Sí, verdad, ya me recordé. Fíjese que no, no la estoy viendo ahorita. Pero escuché su, su voz y dije, no, ya estoy con ella. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Okay, so Sabrina, yes, yeah, sorry, Sabrina. <laughs> And tomorrow is Melissa's time, okay? Melissa's one-on-one tomorrow. Okay, Jessica, Melissa, okay. Oya Cisneros. Thank you. Present. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Uh, Glenda Maricela Cuellar Martínez. Fátima Semara Palacios Navarro. Present teacher. Great. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you for your effort. Okay, guys. So thank you for being on time. I hope that you enjoy your weekend. Okay. And I hope that you feel rest. Okay. Well, actually, you felt rested. Okay. So not tired, but I'm tired actually. <laughs> Even though it is Monday, I'm tired. Oh my God. But okay, we will do our best guys, our best. Um, so guys, oh, Sabrina, miren, yo la veo con sueños. It's because my, my, sis, my sister worked on weekend and I was babysitter. No, I don't want to have a son's daughter I know <laughs> really oh Sabrina don't say that it's just one little girl but I I say that it's like five girls in one <laughs> oh my god five girls and how old is she five five years old wow it's a gremlin <laughs> You didn't, you didn't rest, right? <laughs> no, no. You didn't rest a lot at all. Oh, my God. That happened. But I'm here. But I'm here. But you're here. <laughs> And your sister will be so thankful with you. So thankful for that. Ah, qué chula, Sabrina. I wish I have a sister like that. <laughs> no, I don't want to be your sister. <laughs> I know, okay. Guys, well, let me share the screen and we will start with the class for today. And the class for today is a vocabulary practice. Remember, today is the end of the week. Okay, esta, guys, esta semana es la última que tenemos de este curso, so de este module. So please do your best, guys. Okay, do your best. And don't forget about the homework assignment. Están las tareas el día de ahora, completémosla para que yo mañana las vaya a mandar, please, 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 ¿ok? So no se les olvide eso. And um, yes, we have a vocabulary practice about the whole week today. We have a review. This is a class 15. Uh, so guys, before to start, we have this crossword that is on the page 37. So do me a favor and open your book on the page 37, okay? Let me open the page 37 as well. One second, please. Page 37. Where is it? It's here. Okay. So we have a vocabulary practice. Find the 10 words from the from the box below in the word search. Okay. Here we're gonna be talking about communication and etiquette. All right. Find these words. Those are 10 words. Okay. 
And then choose five words from the board, search and write a sentence for each. Okay? Guys, vamos a buscar esas palabras and then write a sentence. Una oración por cinco nada más. Cinco de ellas. Y usted me puede decir, teacher, pero ¿cómo? Guys, use your imagination. Usen su imaginación, hagan solamente esa oración. Pueden ocupar las estructuras que hemos visto anteriormente. Should, shouldn't, uh, would you mind to, could you, etc. All right. And let's make right now this in groups. Okay. We will make it in groups. We will make it in groups. We will make it in groups. Let me get a second. Let me stop sharing. Let me send you a picture about this. Le voy a mandar una fotito, guys, about this exercise on the WhatsApp group. One moment, please. So guys, I will make, I will make pairs and you work together, okay? Trabajan juntos, guys. Dense ideas de cómo pueden hacer estas oraciones. So I sent to you the picture. Ya les mandé la, la, la fotito, guys. And give me a second. Let me open the breakout rooms, okay? How many are we? Okay. Teacher. Yes, Nelson, tell me. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo es la dinámica? No la entendí, no me quedó bien claro. Vamos a, vamos a encontrar las palabras o vamos a formar oraciones. Las dos cosas. Both. Find the words, the 10 words that are below, etiquette, guidelines, punctual, manners, etc. Esas palabras las va a buscar en la sopa de letras and then make cinco uh, sentences, cinco oraciones, utilizando cinco palabras de ellas, las que usted elija. Sí. Okay, okay. All right. Questions about these guys? No? No questions? Good, good. Okay. Let me um, open the breaker rooms, guys. Please click on join. Click on join, please. And if you have questions, let me know, guys. Hilton, click on join, please. Milton, Glenda, click on join. Milton Glenda, dele click and join, please. Únanse al breaker room.
Glenda se encuentra ahí, Milton. Cuando puedan le dan clic en Join, por favor. Gracias. Yeah. Hola. Hello. Hola, hola. Va puntual. También ya la encontraste en la segunda fila así vertical. La parte de abajo. Va de abajo para arriba, la segunda línea vertical. Yeah. Y a la par está Rigas. A la par de Pudo está Rigas. Ok. Y Etiquet. También ya la ya. Okay. ¿La encontró? Sí. Eh, be, be behavior. Behavior. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Esa, behavior. Donde termina suya, debajo de la T, ahí empieza. Sí. Santa Salutation. No, esa no la encontré. ¿Dónde la encontró? Teacher. Hello, hello, ¿cómo van, guys? For the sentence, I can use uh, whatever form. Any other structure, yes, Christian. I can use only, uh, I don't know, a statement, or I can, or I can make question. Yes, it's all up to you, don't worry, Christian. Okay. Thank you for asking. If you have any other question, let me know, guys, okay? Okay. Sabe, Polite, donde se dice que la Polite, Polite is in the last, in the last file. And right to left, de la derecha a la izquierda. En la última, está polite. Ajá. Guidelines, si no me equivoco, es la última de las line. En, de abajo hacia arriba, guidelines. Mm. Que ver, manner, manner. Manner. Aquí está etiquet, mire, etiquet es en la... Clientes o clientes, clientes o uh -huh. customers. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse salutation de excuse me. De excuse me. Uh, 
¿Qué hay con cuál otra? Con... Tardío. Bihar. 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 Behavior. 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 Es intento decir. <laughs> Entonces, you, tu o su. Mm -hmm. Con chud siempre. ¿Hola? Con chud. Oh. No, porque ahí una oración con... ¿Una oración? Positivo usando los... You can use any structure, yes. Pueden utilizar cualquier estructura. Don't worry, guys. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, hi, man. I finished. Ah, uh, I found eight. And now, what, what are we going to do? We're going to do sentence, really? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, yes. Okay, finish. Okay. Linda. Hello, Linda. Did you finish? Hello, guys. Fíjense que Linda está ahorita observando la clase um, porque ella había está, tenido complicaciones de su salud, así que pues solamente está observando. Pues. <laughs> ah, ok. Get well, Linda. Bless you. Thank you, guys. Thank you a lot. Ok. Ay, me están comiendo semillas y me están dando ganas. <risa> ah, no cita. No cita Candis. Ah. Para aguantar hasta las 10 de la noche. Ok, so sentence, ¿really? Ok. okay. Let's go. So fast. Me encuentro a Marco. Escriba un hola, Marco. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál es usted? Eh, Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Eh, 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 ya lo envié. Ay, qué yeah. eh, más es. Mira, me lo fe yo, pero. Pero Vaya, algo mande. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Please, you see the word. The sentence, perdón. Hola. Can you see the sentence in the chat? Ah, yes. Eh. 
Voy a revisar el cuadro de la que mandó la teacher. Me falta que yo le tomé una foto y creo que quizás no tomé. Voy a, voy a venir a ese cuadro. De la... Ajá, es que, bueno, yo lo estoy viendo desde el que mandó la teacher. Eso voy a hacer yo ahorita. Ah, sí, andaba perdido. Yo, la, 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 tengo, Ángel, la tengo. Ya la yo. Sí, es que, es que la foto que yo tomé a la mitad, la tomé subyo, la, la tengo. ¿Qué es eso? Ángela, subject. Subject es sujeto. sujeto. Ajá. ¿Qué tenemos de sujeto? Sujeto es, una, sujeto es algo o una persona. Ajá. Hello, hello, guys. Sorry. Hello, teacher. ¿Cómo vamos? No, ya vamos en un... ¿Cuántas son, teacher? ¿Cuatro o cinco? Five. Cinco. Uh -huh. Vamos en un 60% ahorita. Great. If you have any questions, let me know, ¿ok? Eh, teacher. Sí, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, what is subject in, in, in Spanish? Subject, sí. sujeto, o puede ser tema también. Tema o sujeto. Lo vamos uh -huh. a manejar quizás como tema... Ok, <ríe> por el momento, right? Gracias, teacher. Sí, dada la circunstancia. Ok. Late If you comer, have any question, let me know, guys. Latecomer in Spanish? Which one? Latecomer. Latecomer. Could you please spell it for me? Latecomer. Uh, L-A-T-E-C-O-M. Um, ay, me confundo, teacher, la E. Sí, <ríe> e, e. e. La E, right? R. Oh, ok. Latecomer is to eat late. To eat late. Comer tarde. Uh, latecomer. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All, all the time. Ah, pues sí, all. All. But good manners, all, all, all time. Time, uh -huh. Bye. Y con etiquet, uh, would you mind following etiquet in the company? Podría ser. No lo escucho. Perdón, le había dado sí. apagado. <ríe> Que los perritos mucho ladran. ¿Cómo sería la oración entonces? Podría ser, would you mind following etiquette in the company? ¿En español? ¿Te molestaría seguir las etiquetas en la compañía? Ahí está, pues sí. Entonces sería... ¿Cuál? Lo último que vimos. What you mean? Sí, what you mean. Uh -huh. Nada más. Seguir. Seguir, seguir, seguir. 
Alta Polay. ¿Cuál es el verbo de seguir? Mm. A seguir, follow. Sí. Follow. Follow the ética. No me school yo my más plus ing. ING. Esa sería otra. No, ¿Cómo? por eso es follow. Siempre la misma. What you uh -huh. mean? Follow the ethical. No, que por eso es. Will you mind following? Porque el verbo no, lleva. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, following, sí. Of the company sería. In the company, adentro in, de la in compañía. The uh -huh. In the company. De la compañía tres. Y laycomer, ¿qué significa? Laycomer. Como recién llegar, recién llegado. Sí. Hello, no, hello, girl. Did you no finish? No ¿Terminaron? No. No, todavía no. Le falta no, bastante. No, no. Dos oraciones. Ok. Two more minutes, guys. Ok. okay. Sí, dos minutos más. Bueno. Ok. All right. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, guys. ¿Cómo van? Did you finish? No. No yet? Aquí está, mira. Okay. I will give you two more minutes, okay? Patricia estaba con ustedes, right? Yes. Yes, ah, okay. Okay. Don't worry. Oye, Cristian, escribe la otra. Hola. Hola. Vaya, I am Pauline when Dom said when, when talking to my partner. I am Pauline. También yo había pensado, the main room of my... Sí, puede ser they. They, they, they working, ¿va? O, o they work. And this sería they working... No, they... Ser. Ajá. Te, te, no. Ellos van llegando. Ellos van llegando. Sería entonces ah. eh, de... Te, te, ¿Qué quieren poner acá? Es eh, una de las oraciones. Sí, ajá, estamos, estamos enterrados ahí, teacher, con la, con la, con la palabra del... De... Latecomer, teacher. Ajá, latecomer. Acuérdense que van a ser cinco oraciones de cinco palabras, ¿verdad? Ustedes eligen uh -huh. las palabras. Entonces uh -huh. puede decir uh, latecomer, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, si a ustedes les parece difícil esa palabra, pueden ocupar otra también, no hay problema. Pero podemos tratar de hacer esa también, claro que sí. Busquen en internet 
o busquen en el diccionario la palabra latecomers. ¿Qué es latecomers? Es un nombre, es un, un, un eh, adjetivo, un verbo. Y dependiendo solo, de eso. Uh -huh. Solo decía que significaba recién llegado. Latecomer. Ok. Ah, ok. Sorry. Latecomer, yo les había dicho que comer ley, pero no, latecomer es llegar tarde, llegar tarde, ok. So, latecomer es que usted llegue tarde siempre. Eso puede decir, por ejemplo, um, you shouldn't be a latecomer. You shouldn't be a latecomer. ¿Sí? Utilizando la estructura, you shouldn't be. Shouldn't be a late comer. ¿Pueden hacer, pueden hacer esa oración? ¿Sí? Porque no lo puede compartir comer, ahí. Sería, you shouldn't, shouldn't be a late comer, teacher. A late comer, exacto. You should not be a late comer. Later, uh -huh. Late comer. Ah, pues ya tenemos las cinco compañeras. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. We will go back, guys. Vamos a regresar, ¿ok? Y les mandé la oración acá, acá en el chat. You shouldn't. Be a latecomer, solamente que, sorry about the uppercase letter U and the period, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, so let's come back. Yo. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining back, guys. Hello guys, is everyone back here? Okay. Thank you very much guys. I know you was working on that. Um, you were working on that. So was it difficult to find the words? So, so, okay. Really? <laughs> okay. All right. Was it difficult to make the sentences? No? Yes. Made the sentence is so difficult. So difficult. difficult. <laughs> okay, great, guys. Okay. That was a practice, guys. That was a practice about writing, okay, about grammar. Yes. Si ustedes se fijaron, no, le, no se impuso una estructura, sino que fue eh, de estilo libre, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, podían tomar en cuenta la estructura que ya estamos ocupando o que ya estudiamos. Así que pues, nada más quisiera preguntarle si fue difícil hacer las oraciones desde cero. No. It's a little difficult. Well, a little yeah. difficult? Okay. Yes, because we did, well, well, I didn't do in what area we Try to talk with Jaime, that is a great uh, classmate and a partner. And, and it was, eh, me ayudó bastante porque, eh, a ver a qué áreas lo orientábamos, siempre el área de trabajo, tratábamos de orientar el de trabajo. Y las que hicimos, porque no las hicimos todas, pero tratamos de sí orientarlas al área de trabajo. Ok. Si... <laughs> great. And I want to ask you guys, uh, I want to ask you, Well, no, I want to advise to you 
cada vez que ustedes tengan un vocabulario nuevo, ok, una palabra nueva, y ustedes dicen, oh my God, tengo que hacer una oración con esto, pero ni sé qué es, ¿sí? Les recomiendo siempre que busquen esa palabra en, en el dictionary, no solamente para saber qué es en español y saber, ok, eat, comer, ok, no, sino que mi, mi consejo, guys, es que lo busquemos en el diccionario porque ahí dice qué es lo que es. The part of the speech es muy importante. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene que saber usted si es el... Si es un sujeto, perdón, si es un nombre, si es un verbo, si es un adjetivo, si es un adverbio, ¿ok? Porque no va a ponerlo usted como adjetivo si es un verbo, ¿ok? No va a poner un adjetivo, perdón, no va a poner usted un verbo si es un nombre. Entonces siempre en los diccionarios inglés-inglés le va a aparecer qué es, qué parte del speech es. Es un nombre, es un verbo. Algunos pueden funcionar como verbo y como, como nombre al mismo tiempo. Por ejemplo, ya se los había dicho, pero la palabra book, book, libro, es un nombre. Y si decimos book en verbo, es hacer una reservación. So, tiene, mucha fun tiene dos funciones en ese caso. Como verbo, actúa como verbo y como nombre. ¿Ok? Entonces es muy importante que ustedes busquen el diccionario la palabra en un diccionario inglés-inglés y que les diga qué parte del speech es. ¿Ok? Y, y, de, y depende de ahí utilizarlo. ¿Sí? Uh, so, let me ask you guys, do you have questions about the vocabulary? ¿Tienen preguntas del vocabulario de las palabras? ¿De cómo utilizar una palabra en una oración? ¿O no questions? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me share really quick this because I was sharing another thing. One second. Okay, here I have it. Okay, guys, could you please give me a sentence using the word etiquette? Who wants to give me that sentence? Etiquette. From a wedding, you must be used an etiquette suit. Okay, very good. An etiquette suit. Good job. All right. What about... Let me get a second, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Lucy, I just want to ask you, etiquette, what is etiquette? Is it a noun? It is an adjective? En la oración que usted escribió, está funcionando como nombre, como sujeto, sorry, como nombre, como verbo, como adjective, adverb. What is it? I think it's like a noun. It is a noun, yes. It is a noun. Very good. Okay. Um, extrañamente, Lucy, sí es un noun, pero sabe que está funcionando como un adjetivo en etiquette suit, porque está modificando la palabra suit. Pero sí es un nombre, es, es, es el nombre que está funcionando como adjetivo. Very good. Good job, Lucy. Porque está delante de, un, de otro nombre y lo está modificando. Entonces, si yo, por ejemplo, yo sé que hay muchos suits, ¿verdad? Pero si, yo, si me dicen etiquette suits, sé que es uno que es formal. Entonces, ya lo está especificando y le, dan, le está dando una característica. Desde entonces, desde que está dándole una característica y lo está escribiendo, qué tipo de suit va a utilizar, es un adjetivo. Está funcionando, sorry, como un adjetivo. ¿Ok? Very good. Okay, let's see, number, uh, number two, guidelines. Who wants to help me with guidelines? Give me a question with, I'm sorry, give me a sentence using guidelines. Question. 
request, I mean, a sentence, guys. One example, guidelines. Guys. Let me see, Melissa, do you have a sentence using guidelines? Guidelines to compose an email. Very good, okay. Could you please repeat it one more time? Just one more time. Use guidelines to compose an email. Good job. And what is it? What is guidelines in your sentence? Is it a noun, a verb, an adjective, or a number? A noun. A noun. Good job. A noun. Perfect. Okay, let me see. What about polite? Who wants to help me with polite? Thank you, Christian. Give me a sentence with polite. Do you have it? No sé si la hizo de polite. Yes. Great. The main rule of my company is to polite with the customer. Is to be polite. Is to be polite with the customer. Is to be polite. Perfect. Okay. And polite is it a noun over there in your sentence, subject, or an adverb? Sorry, a noun, a verb, or an adjective, or an adverb? Libra. In Libra, ¿verdad? For me, in this case, it's an adjective. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Polite. Very good. Okay, so let me see. Manners. Who wants to give me an example with manners? Nelson, do you have manners? No? I mean, I know you have manners. <laughs> how, <laughs> how, how good manners in the office? Very good. To have good manners in the office, right? Lo que no me queda claro, teacher, porque manners, lo que yo no comprendo es que es a manner, si es adjetivo o es verbo. Uh -huh. Vamos a analizarla. Dice, to have good manners in the company. ¿Qué más me dijo? Sorry. Uh, have, uh, have good manners in the office. Oh, have good manners in the office. Good, good, este, Nelson, ¿qué es good? Es, es eh, bien, digamos, bueno, ¿verdad? Ajá, ¿y eso qué es? ¿Un adjetivo, un nombre? Un adjetivo. Perfect. ¿Y un adjetivo eh, a quién modifica? ¿A Ay, quién yo modifica? Me confundo en, 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 esa, en, en esa estructura es donde yo me confundo. No, no pero... Sé qué va adelante o atrás. No, 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 no. Pero ajá, usted puso así. To have good manners in the office, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿qué modifica un adjetivo? ¿A quién modifica un adjetivo? A un nombre. A un nombre, perfect. Entonces, un adjetivo en inglés, Nelson, siempre va a ir adelante de un nombre, ¿ok? Por lo tanto, manners es un... Complemento. No. Un nombre. Un nombre, very good. Ah, o sea, con menos es un nombre. Okay. Mm -hmm, exactly. Good job, Nelson. Okay, regards, guys. Who wants to give me an example of regards? Excellent, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Who wants to give me an example with regards? Nobody? Estefanía? Eh, Marcos, uh, Rosa, Melissa, Luis, ¿quién hizo una oración con regards? Sabrina. Teacher, honestly, I'm fine with the dictionary because I found that it's a noun and it's a verb and say um, intensive verb. And I don't understand very well. Regards. Uh huh. I, I, it's like when we check, we say and give my give him my regards. Uh-huh. Give him my regards. 
Ajá. Give him my regards. En ese caso, give him my regards, ¿qué sería? Aquí es un noun. Es un noun. Perfect. Muy bien. Entonces ahí sería un... ¿Cómo lo haríamos con un verbo? Verb. Verb. In regard to... You should regards uh, the people. Okay. Ajá. Cuando decimos mis respetos, es como mis saludos o, o no. No son ah. saludos. Sí, exactly. Saludos. Ah. Uh -huh. Entonces, exacto. Very good, Luis. Entonces, ahí depende de qué, como qué funciona también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. De cómo qué funciona, si podemos hacer una oración. Entonces, ahí puede ser cualquiera de los dos un buen ejemplo. Pero depende de la colocación que usted le va a hacer, ¿sí? Siguen viendo la pantalla, guys. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, great. So... Questions about regards? Ahí, Sabrina, yo creo que más que todo es eh, cuestión de práctica y cuestión de duda, ¿verdad? Que si no sabes si es eso lo que usted piensa. Y así es, ¿ok? Se puede ocupar de las dos maneras, solamente que en diferente colocación, ¿sí? Depende de lo que usted quiera decir con esa palabra. Siempre busquen, guys, qué significa, pero como qué puede funcionar. Y dependiendo del que usted entienda, así usted lo puede poner, ¿ok? Ok. All right, let's continue. Could you please help me with pun punctual? What about punctual? Be sure. In my company is important to be punctual. Good job, perfect. Is it an adjective, a noun, or a verb? I, I think it is noun. Noun? Sure. Yes. Are you sure? Si yo digo punctuality and punctual, ¿cuál es el nombre? Entonces, ¿qué, ¿qué puede ser? Puede ser un pronom. Guys, ayuden, ayúdenos, please. Punctual. Es un verbo. I am punctual. You are no. punctual. No. Adjective. 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 Perfect. Thank All you. right. Adjective. Very good. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, what about latecomer? What does it mean, latecomer, guys? Latecomer? What does it Thank mean? Since our latecomer from Canada. Sorry? My cousins are latecomer from Canada. Very good. Okay. Latecomer from, from Canada. Okay, so. What can you tell me about latecomer? Um, it, what is it in this, uh, in this sentence? Is it a noun? Is it a verb? What is it, Lucy? Mm -hmm. Guys, ¿qué es latecomer? Es un adverbio. Latecomer. Mm -hmm. An adjective, no? Or an adverb? No. 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 A noun? Yes, very good. Guys, este latecomer. Este latecomer, guys. Uh, significa ya sea que una persona llega tarde o ya sea una persona que acaba de llegar. ¿Sí? 
a un, a un cualquier evento o a un país, como ella lo dice. Entonces eso es lo que quiere decir. Porque sí, lo he escuchado como someone who arrives late and someone who just arrived, who recently arrived, participate in maybe an event, etc. Yes? Questions about this? Questions about latecomer? No? Behavior. Who wants to help me with behavior? Marcos, Patricia, behavior. No. Behavior. No. He should keep a good behavior at work. Very good. And what is it, Luis? A noun, a verb, an adjective. A noun. Great, a noun. Don't doubt about it. Very good. Okay, what about salutation, guys? Salutation. Rose, salutation. Ah, uh, Estefanía, Milton. Fátima. Saludos, teacher. Saludos, teacher. Okay. Could you please use, I mean, tell me the sentence that you use? Okay. When in terms a meeting, you should always say salutations. Okay. Let's see. Uh, salutations. Salutation in that case. Sorry? Salutation, guys, is a verb, is a noun, or it is an adjective? A noun. A noun, very good. Okay, guys, the last one. One second, please. The last one, subject. Who wants to help me with subject? Mm -hmm. Subject is a subject. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. It's not that. <laughs> Sabrina, help me with subject. Subject. Okay. Um. Well, if I find. <laughs> okay. Teacher, I'm sure that I did. You can you can uh, do it right now. <laughs> well, it's important to write a subject when we send an email. Wow, very good. <laughs> it's the only thing I remember. Very good, Sabrina. Ok, so, si ustedes se fijan, guys, subject tiene diferentes meanings. Ustedes lo pueden ocupar como subject de un email, como subject de subject de I, you, María, the cat, etc. Como subject de tema también, o subject de una asignatura. O subject, ajá, subject de tema, so. That depends on the use that you want to provide, okay? Okay, guys, so let's continue then, and I will go through the attendance list right now. Give me just a second. Yes, one moment. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino, thank you. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present. Linda Magali García Montoya. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Let me see just one moment. Okay. 
Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Lucy, sorry. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Mildon Hernández Sola. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present teacher. Rosa Acaria Corrado Quijada. Present. Sabrina Elisset García Orellana. Present. Jessica Melisa Oya Cisneros. Present. Zulma Yerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Glenda Maricela Cuellar Martínez. Present, teacher. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. Present, teacher. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Thank you. Okay, guys. So now um, we have a review. Remember, today is, our, is the review about all the topics that we studied together because today we need to finish with the homework assignments, okay, that we have. So, guys, uh, this will be just a review about the topics. Would you mind? Just as a reminder, after would you mind? you need to have an ing form for example would you mind repeating would you mind telling me your last name would you mind moving my car okay you need an ing form after would you mind all right for example if someone asks you would you mind opening the window Si usted quiere decir que sí, está bien para usted, usted va a decir, no, I wouldn't mind, porque usted le está diciendo, no, no me molestaría, ¿ok? Pero si usted no le quiere ayudar a cerrar la ventana, entonces usted le dice, yes, I wouldn't mind, sí me molestaría. It is too cold outside, tengo frío, right? Entonces, recuérdense que el would you mind es al contrario cuando usted quiere responder, ¿ok? Porque le están preguntando si le molestaría. Por eso es que usted va a decir que no le molesta. Si usted quiere decir que no, y si sí le molesta, usted va a decir que yes, I will mind. ¿Ok? So, questions about would you mind, guys? Would you mind asking me questions, please? Would you mind saying me yes or no, please? I would mind. No, I wouldn't mind. Bye. There is no question. No? Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Entonces sí me van a hacer preguntas. <laughs> Porque me dijeron, no, I wouldn't mind, me dijeron. Me tienen que decir, yes, I would mind, teacher, because everything is clear, because you're the best, and you have already explained everything <laughs> to me. <laughs> Así. No, mentira, guys. Okay. Entonces, tienen que decir, yes, I would mind, because everything is clear. Thank you for asking. <laughs> okay. Pero si ustedes tienen preguntas, please tell me, okay? Yeah? Todo clear? Yeah. Like water? Water with horchata, maybe? No? <laughs> yes, I would mind. <laughs> yes, I would mind. Ah, okay, thank you, Marcos. Okay. So, let's see. Next one. Next one, next one, next one. Could you, guys, could you? Solamente acá, volviendo a diferenciar. Um, would you mind es una forma super formal, ok, de pedirle a alguien algo. Y es más formal que el could you. Es más formal que el could you. Ok. Eh, podemos decir que could you mind está acá y el could you está acá. Ok, pero siempre las dos maneras es para pedir algo. Para hacer un request a alguien, a pedirle un favor. Ok. Mm. So, could you, guys, el could you please bring me more coffee? Could you please bring me more, more coffee? 
guys, acá, could you please bring me more coffee? Recuérdense que después del sujeto, cuando usted quiera decir, yes, I could, ok, Después del could, perdón, después del could automáticamente va un infinitivo, ¿ok? Si es pregunta, entonces usted dice could plus subject plus infinity. Pero si usted responde, I could, yes, I could, all right, no, I couldn't. Acá ya no sé, usted no se tiene que eh, estar como dudando, ok, teacher, pero si yo quiero voy a decir yes, no, aquí va a decir que si no quiere, no, I couldn't, o si usted quiere va a decir yes, I couldn't, acá no, no hay por qué perderse, ok. Solamente si es una forma polite de pedir algo, pero no es tan polite como would you mind to, ok. Y es para hacer siempre un request. Y se utiliza infinity verb. No se ocupa la ng, sino que infinity verb en la base forma. ¿Es that clear, guys? Yes. yes. Ok. Perfect. Ok. And the last one. Uy, sorry. <laughs> And the last one is. Oh my God. Should, okay, should. That's the last topic that we learned. Should is for you to make suggestions, okay? Para, para dar consejos, para dar recomendaciones a alguien, all right? It's for you to give an advice, consejo, okay? Uh, for example, no, you should take your medicine. He shouldn't complain so much. You should all be your mother, okay? In negative, guys, in negative is shouldn't, va a ser contractado. En negativo va a ser la manera contractada, okay? Shouldn't, o puede decir usted should not. It's all up to you guys, okay? Entonces, en, pos en afirmativa sería I should take your medicine and he, you shouldn't take your medicine, okay? Si quiero hacer preguntas con WH, entonces digo, what should I do? ¿Qué debo hacer? Yo puedo decir también, where should I go? ¿Dónde puedo ir? ¿Sí? Where should I go? When should I go? ¿Cuándo debería ir? When should I go to the doctor? ¿Ok? How many, how many, um, let me see. How much time should I mm, do exercise, exercises, okay? Those are the WH questions. Or you can say yes, no questions. So pueden hacer yes, no questions. La estructura siempre es la misma de todo, guys. Acuérdense, si quieren hacer un WH, ¿qué va primero? WH. Auxiliary verb, subject, verbo, and complement, ¿ok? Siempre va a ser la misma. Siempre lo mismo, la lo misma fórmula. No se pierda, ¿sí? Lo único es que tiene que usted saber las reglas de la estructura que usted, usted esté estudiando, ¿ok? So, si quiere hacer una pregunta en yes, no question, should I go there? Yes, you should. Should Helen help him? Yes, she should. All right. Oh, no, she shouldn't. No, you shouldn't go there. It's dangerous. Okay. So, should is para suggestion, para recomendaciones, consejos. Okay. Ya no es para peticiones como los otros dos. All right. Questions about should or shouldn't? Not teacher. Okay, great, guys. All right. So, let's make some sentences using shouldn't. Okay? Shouldn't. Háganme las siguientes oraciones utilizando estas figuritas. All right. Van a hacer ocho oraciones utilizando las figuritas. All right. Vamos a hacer así. De la uno a la cuatro me lo van a hacer escrita, guys. Y lo van a mandar al grupo WhatsApp escritas, ok, cuatro oraciones you shouldn't he shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, no sé, yo creo que podríamos ocupar you shouldn't porque son como 
prohibiciones o consejos que usted le a alguien. ¿Ok? So, de la 1 a la 4 lo va a hacer escrita y de la 5 a la 8 lo vamos a hacer verbal. Así que de la 1 a la 4 a la horita y lo manda al WhatsApp group, WhatsApp group, ¿ok? Voy a estar esperando su respuesta, guys, de la 1 a la 4, please. Ok, si quieren hagamos lo siguiente, lo vamos a hacer más interactivo, right? Mándenme todos, so how many are we? We are, you are, sorry. You are 16, somos 16. Mándenme, guys, please, la, la primera, el primer ejemplo, utilizando shooting. Mándemelo al grupo, vamos a ir uno por uno para avanzar. Vamos a hacer la número uno todos. Manden, please, sus ejemplos al grupo. ¿Lo pueden hacer en este chat o lo pueden hacer el grupo WhatsApp? Mándenme una, un consejo una recomendación negativa, en forma negativa, para esta imagen, la number one. Solo para la number one. Todo, guys. El WhatsApp, teacher. Yes. O me lo pueden mandar acá en este chat. Por eso, estaba llorando. ¿Por qué? You shouldn't. Shalalalala. Okay. Let me see. I got the num the number one. You shouldn't use you shouldn't use the arm at this place. Yes. Como es un moreover, como es un moreover, Luis, por eso no se utiliza el to, porque es un modal. Todos los modales como could, should, may, can. Might. To, bus, busquen la lista de los modales en inglés. Moral verse. Y todos esos no llevan el to. Pero todos los demás verbos sí llevan el to. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I want to eat pizza. El want es un verbo normal, no es un moral, no es un moral. Entonces ahí digo, I want to eat pizza. ¿Sí? Pero con esos verbos que son como... Alrededor de 8 o 10 que son modales, no decimos el, el to. Ah, de hecho, me confundí porque decía. No, y to key. Ajá, you're right. Uh, but, I'm, but in this case, eh, es entendible, la verdad, porque es un verbo. Y la verdad es que usted puede decir, no, es que después tiene que ir el to, como todos los otros verbos. Pero la razón es como es un modal, por eso no. Ah, ok, thank you. Very good, you're welcome. Ok, vamos a ver. Weapons shouldn't be used in this place. Very good, okay? Shouldn't be used in this place. Fátima, su oración me llama tanto la atención porque usted eh, me está utilizando sin querer y sin saber, imagínese, me está utilizando una oración en passive voice, pero con otra estructura. Así que, very good. Shouldn't be used in this place. You shouldn't use guns in this place. Very good. Shouldn't use guns. Patricia, Carolina, you shouldn't use guns. Okay, solamente sujeto falta. You shouldn't use guns here. Very good. Good job, guys. Let me see the other ones. You shouldn't take photos. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't use arms. Photos. No, estamos haciendo la number one. Lucy. <laughs> You shouldn't use arms at the supermarket. Okay. You shouldn't use the arms in the office. You shouldn't wear guns in church. All right. You shouldn't use. You shouldn't give me the army. The arm because it's dangerous. It is dangerous. It is the arm because it is dangerous. They shouldn't use arms at the banks. Just to stop, just to steal, right? Oh my God. They use it just for that. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, let's go to the number two. Number two, the camera one, okay? Send me a sentence with the number two, guys. You shouldn't use games in public places. Very good, public places. 
very good public places. Let's do the number two, guys. Number two. You shouldn't, ah, oh, sorry, I, I thought it was an example. You shouldn't take photos here. Very good. You shouldn't use cameras. Very good. You shouldn't take pictures. We guys, no se les olvide el video at the end. <laughs> okay. Teacher. Yes? We can say picture and photos. Mm -hmm. Pictures and photos. Okay. It's the same. Pictures and photos. Don't worry. You shouldn't take picture at you shouldn't take pictures that uh to the animals. Very good. You shouldn't take photos on their production plan. Very good. What else, guys? No more guys, you shouldn't take picture of to the dressers, to the dresses, very good. You shouldn't take photos at the hospital, you shouldn't use cameras in the hotel. You shouldn't take photos to the animals, you shouldn't take photos to the animals. <laughs> Thank you, Luis. Thank you. You shouldn't, oh my God. You shouldn't take photos in the museum, exactly. You shouldn't, you shouldn't sell the camera. It is a very good. You should sell the camera. You shouldn't sell the camera. It is very good, very good. Great, Marcos. Okay, guys, so now do me a favor. Good, okay. Go and please use the number three. Send me the number three, the number three one, okay? For cell phone. Uh, you shouldn't use the phone in the bank. Uh huh. Very good. You shouldn't use the phone while driving. Good job. Pero el period, guys. El period is missing. You shouldn't use uh, use cell phones in the bank. Very good. Good job. Okay. Finish. Let me see. You shouldn't attend calls at the school. All righty, perfect. 
Thank you. All right. So they shouldn't bring a phone to a family meeting, to a family meeting, okay? You shouldn't use the phone while walking. All right. You shouldn't use the phone inside the van. Good job, Patricia. Now, well, let's go with the number four. Number four, please. Uh -huh. You shouldn't use your cell phone in the church. Number four, guys. You shouldn't game. You shouldn't play. You shouldn't play with myself. Así le dice a sus sobrinos, right, Marcos? Uh, you shouldn't smoke here. Very good. Number four, guys. Teacher, the exercise is very, very, very easy. It's, it's funny. No, it's funny. Divertido. <laughs> You shouldn't smoke when we are eating. <laughs> yes. You shouldn't smoke in fun, in funny, in public smoke. places. Oh, you shouldn't smoke in the park. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good, 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 guys. No, you already managed that. You shouldn't smoke at the gasoline station. Gas station. Very good. You shouldn't smoke here. Okay. You shouldn't smoke in your job or in the job. All righty. Great. Guys, do me a favor and give me the sentence orally. Say me the sentence about the number five. I want to listen to you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> number five. Teacher. Go, Nelson. ¿Qué es esa figurita, teacher? Use your imagination. Uh -huh, like you class. shouldn't. You, you shouldn't talk in the class. You shouldn't. You shouldn't talk in the class. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, I well, don't talk. While others are talking, right? You shouldn't speak Spanish in the English class. There you go. Very good. Another one. Number five. Guys, guys, hello. hello. Maybe uh -huh. he shouldn't chat in the classes. Very good. Okay, great. What else? You shouldn't shout here. You shouldn't chat here. Very good. Okay. Sorry, no sé por qué está, I stopped sharing. What about a number six, guys? Number six? You shouldn't play you shouldn't music. shouldn't listen to music. You shouldn't play music. You shouldn't listen to music. Very good. What else? Mm -hmm. You should listen to reggaeton. You shouldn't listen to reggaeton music. All right. Another one? Number seven. Could you please help me with the number seven? You should drink alcohol. You shouldn't drink alcohol. Would you mind giving me another example, guys? Drink when drive. When driving, very good. Or when you drive, good job. The last they one. Should, they shouldn't drive room. 
they shouldn't drive soon. Uh, sorry, they shouldn't. Wrong. Oh, drunk. Very good. They shouldn't <clears throat> drive drunk. Wow, excellent. Okay. They, you shouldn't dance. <laughs> Nada que ver, Marcos. You shouldn't dance in, in the bus station. <laughs> you shouldn't dance. Dance. Dance oh. and drink, maybe. <laughs> Dance yes, and drink sorry. alcohol in the bus station, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Pero dance. Very good. Sorry, okay, number eight. Eight, eight, guys. You, you should learn it at the workplace. Eat in the, in the, no, in the, in the cinema. <laughs> Once again. Marco, you shouldn't, uh -huh. you shouldn't eat in the cinema. Eat, eat your own food, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jaime, sorry, yes. could you please say that one more time? You shouldn't junk food. Uh huh. You shouldn't eat junk, eat junk, junk food. <laughs> Very good. All right, guys, a round of applause for you. You did an amazing job, okay? Now, do me a favor, guys, and please, 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 try to, try to go ahead and stretch out, okay? Stretch out yourself. I know it's almost time, okay? It's almost time to go to rest, to go to sleep. Please stretch out, everyone, okay? Drink water. Um try to breathe you shouldn't consume alcoholic beverage very good breathe three times breathe okay breathe nelson okay <laughs> marcos go to the restaurant if you want <laughs> i mean everyone go to the restaurant if you want to go to the bathroom you have two minutes okay two minutes to go to your um i don't know it's, it's I still time, guys, to, to give a rose to your girlfriend or to your wife, okay? Acá lo esperamos. Todavía es tiempo. Voy a cortar las flores y se las va a dar a su esposa. Nelson. Ella me da a mí. <laughs> ya es igual que Jaime, que a él le dieron los chocolates, dice. <laughs> Pero los alumnos, dice. No, okay. hoy, hoy, nos, hoy nos mandaron un presente ahí, este, bien de mañanita. Mr. Marco fue agasajado también ahí con un tremendo chocolatón. ¡Wow! Marcos. Ya lo ven ahí todo, todo callado, ¿verdad? Pero anda conquistando corazones en el trabajo. <risa> no, piche. <risa> A mí me tratan de conquistarme. Ah, ah, Nelson nos puede decir ahí. Eh, quiet, quiet, Mr. Nelson. Be quiet, Nelson. <laughs> you shouldn't be quiet, Nelson. You shouldn't be quiet. You shouldn't be quiet. <laughs> Ay, no, Marcos, si te goza, right? <laughs> Ay, Nelson, hasta ahorita se va, mire ya que vamos a iniciar la clase. Mentiras, Nelson, vaya. You shouldn't bring food into the store. Ajá, exactly. You shouldn't get asleep, guys. No yet, ¿ok? No yet. Mr. Avelar. Why you're so serious? You're thinking about your love. Sorry. ¿Qué le pasó al background ahora? Me... Pues tenía que tener muchos corazones el background. Sorry, I forgot. Yo pensé que Jaime nos iba a traer un background donde decía que nos amaba a todos. Vaya, ay, pero es que Jaime ahí tiene la mano los backgrounds, a mí que me cuesta poner uno porque nunca le encuentro, nunca encuentro uno. Vaya, miren, variedad, niño, variedad, a Cora ahí, pero los backgrounds. A Cora, a Cora, los va a llevar. <ríe> los va a llevar. 
Okay, guys. All right. So now that we have already have a review about that, questions, guys, preguntas, is the review, no questions? No, right? Okay. Guys, please look to the page 38. Open the page 38, please, on the book. Page 38. And this, uh, we will actually, let me see. Mm, okay, <laughs> I see we still have time. Okay, so guys, vayanse para la página 38 and we will go ahead and work right now. Complete the page 38. First of all, guys, vamos a identify and correct the three mistakes in the sentence below. Vamos a identificar los tres errores que hay en las oraciones acá. Three errors. Three mistakes. De las cinco oraciones solamente hay three mistakes. Las corrigen las que están malas. Once you finish, una vez que usted finalice. A ver, let me send to you this. Vamos al exercise number four. And you will select, let me see, select the most appropriate answer for the request below. Oh, so easy, guys. That is so easy. Van a elegir la respuesta correcta para cada pregunta, para cada yes, no question, okay? For example, would you mind turning the lights on? No problem. Or yes, I would. All right. Uh, could you order something to eat, please? Yes, I could. Etc. Ok, ahorita se los paso también este exercise. And once you finish with this, we will go and write a suggestion about the following behavior. Acá hay un comportamiento, guys. For example, Sara never stops shouting on the phone when we have lunch. ¿Qué consejo le va a dar usted a Sara utilizando el should? ¿Qué consejo le va a dar, guys? You should. Cha -la 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 -la, right? And then you go to the number two, three, and four. ¿Sí? Easy like that, guys. Creo que ahorita el más, el que tiene más trabajo ahorita, nada más es el number, number five. Los otros están easy, guys. Easy. And once you finish, classify the this salutation in closing into formal or informal. Tienen que clasificar las salutations que están, tenemos acá diciendo si son formal and informal. Lo ponen en el círculo nada más verificando si son formal and informal, ¿ok? Ahorita les acabo de pasar esos ejercicios, guys, acá. And we will work together, ¿ok? We will work together, I mean, we will work in pairs, ok, in the person we're working with so vamos a regresarnos a los breaker rooms guys, and you have until 10 to finish until 10 I mean 9.57 <laughs> so I can go through the attendance list, ok questions about these guys Though this is pretty easy, la única que está como un poco trabajosa es la número 5 number 5 if you don't finish, we can continue tomorrow, but the objective is to finish. El objetivo es finalizar, guys, so if you have questions, you let me know, please. Solamente give me a second, because I will move some of you. One second. Solamente lo voy a organizar bien porque veo que hay unos que se han quedado solitos. Ok, guys. You can click on join, ok. Y si tienen preguntas me, de me dejan saber, guys. Let me
the link click and join girls please girls and boys girls and boys sabrina and jaime oh no you're good Hola. No le veo error a esa. Would you send it? ¿Cuál me dijo? Perdón. La tweet. Uh -huh. And number three. Would you send in Falten um, Mine? Would you mind sending this invitation to your sister? Would you mind sending? Yes. Okay. Number five, I think that is could you come? 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 Could you mind? And could you feel? Could you, could you, could you, could you, you feel this precious order? Teacher. Ya la vi, ya Hello, la vi, Nelson. Dígame. Teacher, tengo una, tengo una duda, teacher. Fíjese que en, la, en el primer párrafo estamos respondiendo la, las 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 questions las preguntas pero eh, no me quedó claro porque en la seg en el segundo párrafo tengo que poner eh, no problem o, o yes hay cool, dependiendo de lo, la interrogante ¿no? pero ¿Cuál es la, párrafo... la, 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 la respuesta más apropiada? Ah, ok Teacher sí. Yes ¿Verdad que en, en, en la primera parte tenemos que también encontrar los errores de las preguntas? Exacto, solamente hay tres errores en tres preguntas, las demás están mm. bien. Uh -huh. Ajá, porque sí. encontramos uno en, en la segunda. Ok. Ok, ok, teacher, esa era la, la ¿Todo duda. bien? Sí, ok, me avisan, sí. guys. Teacher, and ten copies. Two of this report. Would you? Oh, okay. Aunque regresó la teacher. ¿no? Sí. Hola, sí, hola, Nelson. El que se escucha, sí, dígame. Sí, teacher. Aparte de, déjeme ver. Eh, por ejemplo, la, la number two, eh, number two sería ordenarla y responderla, vea. 
Eh, ¿en, qué, ¿En qué ejercicio, sir? ¿En, la... en, la, en el primer párrafo. En la primera parte, dice. Si está mal, si encuentran el error, solamente corríjanlo. ¿Cómo ah, sería entonces? Lo escriben a la par, ¿cómo you. sería? Uh -huh. Pero no, no Gracias. tendríamos que responder la verdad. No, no, no. Solo corregir. Exactly. Teacher, una pregunta. Cuando utilizamos el Q, el verbo no tendría que ir en ING al final, ¿verdad? No, tiene que ser en infinitivo. Solo ah. el ING va en Would you mind too? Ah. Ahí va. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome, Estefanía. Yes, I could. Uh -huh, yes, I porque is pizza okay? No, es respuesta. Mm -mm. No, yes, I could. Uh -huh. La otra es, could you request more? Sería la B, I could do it. I could do it. Una atrás. Yo request no. Yes. ¿Verdad? La B sería. La B. No lo sería. En la cuatro sería la respuesta A. No, no me molestaría. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y en otra disculpa, ¿podría bajarle volumen? No, no problem. En la cinco. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? No problem. No, no problem. No. Esto no problema lleva un no sería yes I could. Uh -huh. Porque lleva Creo que yes I could. Que sí podría. La A sería entonces. Una última. Yo pienso que en la dos sería you shouldn't eh, want to want Walk to your desk. You shouldn't walk to your desk when your boss needs something. The, the word. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Oh, hello, Christian. Tell me. For example, in the number three, in the exercise five, uh, Jimena and Susan take my selfies when they are working. In this case, I can, uh, we can make the statement, you shouldn't take a photo in the, I don't know what is the correct work or job. Sorry, give me one second. I was sneezing. <laughs> uh, let me see. They shouldn't. They shouldn't uh, take selfies when they are working. Yeah, but, but it's working or job? Working. Working. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, ¿Cuál era el otro que me decía, sir? 
uh, I we can use you shouldn't take a photos a photos in Photo. the in the work or in the job. Ah, in, en este case, caso, en ese caso, podríamos decir in the work, in the work. A veces okay. se utiliza el job también, pero cuando el job no está demasiado, perdón, se utiliza job cuando queremos en, decir como empleo, ¿sí? Y work es como en el trabajo. En el trabajo. Exacto. Uh -huh. Ok. Next, Ismael, el siguiente, Pablo Pouch. The scene not a good time in his office door. So his team does not talk to him. Eso está difícil. Pablo Pouch. The sink not a good time in his office door. So his team does not talk to him. ¿Qué crees que podríamos poner ahí? ¿Mm? While working, while they are working, uh -huh. on when they are working. Um, you should, they shouldn't take a picture or they... They shouldn't take picture while they, working. When, uh -huh, when they working. When they are working, okay. Uh -huh. I could, yes. yes, I could. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Uh, could you request more jumbo paper clips, please? The answer right away. Right away. By, by in the number of three. It's right away. Right away, or I call to eat. Right away, ¿verdad? Ay, no, sí, no sé, ya no, ya no. Sería Graciela. Who should O shouldn't, shouldn't, no debería. Shouldn't. No debería sign, firmar, her emails with that emoji, ¿verdad? With yes. the emoji. No debería de firmar su correo con los emojis. Sí, así es. Right? Sí. Right. Ok. Ok. Finish. Ahora el número 6. Clasificar esos saludos y como despedidas en formal o informal. Por ejemplo, see you es informal, ¿verdad? See you. 
Yes, inform. Inform. Uh -huh. Hey, informal tuber. WhatsApp. Inform. WhatsApp. Informal. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. and Miss. Formal. Formal. Their, Their friend. friend. Formal. Querido amigo. My best. My best. Mm -hmm. Ahí depende porque si, si dijera my best rewards, mis mejores saludos. Pero se lo dice my best. My best. Lo dejamos como formal o informal. Mm, esa es como forma verdad ajá, porque es el complemento my best morning formal verdad formal best rewards it's formal right rewards right Ok, thank you, pero abreviado. Informal. Es informal, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Thanks, y, ah, no, thanks. Y sucso. Sucso, informal. Informal. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Ok. Uh, tenemos cinco y cinco. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hello, hello guys. Thank you very much for joining back. I know you did an amazing job. I was observing you, so thank you. Uh, voy a pasar a lista solamente Cristian. Ayúdame con todo su nombre, please, please. Yeah. Bye. Voy a pasar a lista, right. guys, y eh, mañana vamos a continuar haciendo un review so de lo que acabamos de hacer ahorita. Please, no se les olvide okay, las homework. El día de ahora completarlas todas yeah. y si tienen preguntas con gusto, que tengan una excelente noche and have happy Valentine's Day. Blessings for all of you, ¿ok? So, solamente me ayudan con la cámara encendida y decir presente. Good night, everybody, ¿ok? Dígame. Este, hoy es el día para, para enviar todas las tareas o... Todavía falta la otra semana. Para los de esta semana que pasó, sería ahora. Desde... Hasta la quinta, ¿verdad? Exacto, hasta la quinta. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Gracias, okay. guys. You're welcome. Ya trabajamos, Marquito. <ríe> Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Eric Mauricio Rendero Camacino, thank you. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Bye. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Bye. Linda Magali García Montoya, good night. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Bye, Lucy. Luis Ernesto Gómez Bye. García. Present teacher. Bye -bye. Bye. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Bye, teacher. Milton Hernández Sola. Bye. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present teacher. Thank Good you. night. Good night. Rosa Calia Conrado Quijada. Present. Good night. Good night. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Present. Good night. No, 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 este. <laughs> Jessica Melissa Hoya Cisneros. Present. Thank you. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. 
Bye, guys. Glenda, Bye. Maricela, good night. Glenda, Maricela, Coya, Martínez. Fátima, Xiomara, Palacios, Navarro. Present teacher. Bye, Fátima. Bye. Patricia, Eugenia, Navarro, Rosales. Present teacher, teacher. Tengo una duda. Dígame, eh, Patricia. La clase termina el jueves o el viernes. La el clase. Viernes, viaje, sí. O sea, esta semana termina la clase. No. Fíjese que no hace el lunes, porque como es desde de toda la semana. Gracias. Bueno, Patricia, cualquier cosa, mándeme un texto hoy. Gracias por preguntar. Hola, hola, Sabrina. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? I'm very well, teacher. Thanks for asking you. I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking me as well, Sabrina. So we have the time right now to talk a little bit about you, about any feedback that you have about the class, about any, any piece of advices that you want to hear from me about your learning process, about your development of your skills, listening, reading, um, pronunciation, speaking, re, uh, I mean, writing. So anything that I can help you, Sabrina, so you can improve more and more and more. Um, actually, I want to say congratulations because you are a great student, okay? And you're always participating and that's the reason why you are awesome in, in your English classes because you try and that's the key, okay? So let's continue like that, Sabrina. You're awesome. And I know you will you will do, I mean, the best thing that you can. And at the end, you will get a good prize. Okay. So I know for, for sure that you will learn a lot. And you know, this second English, I mean, this second language will be great. I don't know if it's gonna be good for your job, for your life, but I know there are going to be a lot of um, open doors for you. So go for it, Sabrina. The stage is yours. And tell me what can I do for you, okay? Because it will be my pleasure to help you. Okay. Well, thanks, teacher. Firstly, thanks for everything. And I feel better because in, I, I have seen in this course especially, well, my of course he was a great teacher teacher Eric was great and you always and I think thanks for you thanks to you thanks to Insa for for everything and this course thanks for you because thanks to you because you try we speak and I try I need to 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 speak well, uh, I have to uh, tell about something. I, I was in my workplace the last week. And then uh, I know that my, my bosses and my, my boss and my co-worker now that I am studying. And what I think, I thought that is has forget. They have forget, forgotten. And, and came, um, North American patient. And I, I I didn't think anything. And I thought my boss was to give gave him the instruction and, and after the examination and my boss said, Oh, in the reception, my, my assistant will give you all the instruction and everything that we need to do. And I say, and I and I say, what? It, but I need to relax. Yes. And that, my boss said, Sabrina, come here, please. And I need to, you say him that and that and that. And everything he told me in Spanish. And I, and I tried to speak. Well, my coworkers say that I was not nervous. But in my mind, my heart, <laughs> and everything. Well, after that, my boss tell me that was a good job and that happens and wow <laughs> like, like a, wow and my parents when I 
come to my house, my parents say, the class are helped you. So teacher, thanks. I really was a great uh, gift and, and, and it's a good feeling in my heart that day. I, I, need, I, I know that I need to practice more and the pronunciation and everything, but little by little, I little try. Little by little. Yes, and, and you know, I feel so thankful for you to tell me, I mean, for you to sharing that with me, because this is, this is at the end, my objective, Sabrina, and this is what I feel, why I actually feel satisfied for, because that's the reason why I'm a teacher, because I really want, and I really love helping others, right, that at the end, you can see that that person is growing and growing up, like, I don't know if it is a, a, a personally, it can be professionally, economically, but at the end, you can be the person that is helping that person, right? So um, thank you for sharing that with me. And I hope that you can continue growing and growing up. And if you would like to speak with another person, like try to practice, I'm more than welcome uh, to do it with you. I'm more than welcome to tell you, okay, Serena, if you want to send me a message in the WhatsApp, maybe an audio. I'm busy because I'm busy, but I will answer it because I know sometimes we cannot, I mean, we don't have the chance to practice with anyone else. In your case, I believe you can do it in your job, but whenever you want to practice your pronunciation your speaking skills feel free to do it with me send me an audio and I will answer it and so on that's the way that we can do it Sabrina and congratulations I know you can do it and you will continue doing it because you you're awesome okay so I really like the fact that even though you're not sure about some words even though you're not sure about how to speak, but you try. And I really like your fluency. I mean, your fluency is good, right? And yes, I, I, I asked the same to, to, to my, ex, uh, the, the other teacher. Previous teacher, uh -huh. the previous teacher. And he said, don't, don't, don't stop, continue. Exactly. Continue. I understand, I understand. And he, and he gave me the opportunity to to speak freely with him, and and, mm -hmm. and I like to read. I love really? to read. I love to read. My favorite is classic novel. I love them, but um, I need to practice the pronunciation and speaking. Mm -hmm. I like to read, and and the grammar, I think that is easy for me. The grammar because I try mm. to work to, to write, but the speaking really difficult for me. Um, and like regarding the pronunciation, series. you said right? Uh huh. The pronunciation, yeah. And 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 I try and I have tried to to watch my favorite movies and sing my favorite songs in English. And now I I, I just open myself in English. It's, it's in English. That's my, great. My movies, my series. And there is a, a, a word that I know you. I have a especially notebook for words that I know. And for, for that, when, when you say some words that I don't know, I always ask you. And mm -hmm. I wrote my notebook. Wow. It's my especially notebook. <laughs> Serena, and have... I don't know if you really like technology, like instead of doing it on the novel, you, you would like to do it in an application, but the app that I sent last time, that is some, is Word app, it's called Word app. Have you used the app? Work app Word, no, Word app. I will go ahead and share that with you right now. That okay. app is awesome. The same that you're doing right now with your notebook, instead okay. of you doing it, the application will do it for you. And it will okay. test you at the beginning, it will test you and it will it will give you a lot of words. So like, 
I don't know, maybe 20, okay? We'll give you 20 okay. words, okay, Serena? Let's choose the one that you already know. You choose them, and at the end, okay, your level is this, and every single day you will learn this and that, and you will have a tracking over there about the words that you're learning, and it's awesome. Try it and let me know today if you really like it, because you really like it. Okay, I use I, it. I have, I have, I have the dictionary and there is, an there is an exercise really and i say uh, like a game and and ah, i okay uh, it was was difficult at the first and uh, i need to use more but i have have i to do a count to make a count in the dictionary where Mar marian webster how come excuse me count Account? Oh, account. Uh-huh. As far as I know, no. I mean, you don't need to make an act to create an account. Is it asking you for that? Yeah. Yes, in at the first, but I say uh, not yet. Oh, okay. Okay. And, and, and it is not requiring you. Uh-huh. Uh, actually, to the, uh, with the sentences that we are doing with Jaime. Uh, I was using the dictionary. Oh, not, really? Because say that is, and when you ask, um, that's a noun, it's a verb, I don't know if I... <laughs> and I and okay. I, mm -hmm. Great. And, and that is a good, I, I really like him, that dictionary. It's awesome. Yes, I really like it as well. It's one of the best dictionaries, actually. And I sent to you the application on the group. Did you okay. see it? Okay. Download it, Sabrina. And I know for a fact that you will love it. And besides your pronunciation, what I recommend to you is to continue watching movies. Let's watch a CD, a complete CD in English. And let's put the titles, the, sub, the subtitles in English as well. So you relate the pronunciation with the writing form. So it should be okay. English, English, all right? No okay. Spanish at all. So I know okay. it is difficult to understand, mm -hmm. but now that you know vocabulary, you know grammar, it's gonna be easy for you to listen and see the, the written form, sorry, the written form of what the person is saying. So you're relating the pronunciation of the word and you're learning and you will say, ah, okay. So the word, I'm sorry, the, the, the verb re written is pronunciated like that. I didn't know it. And you will mm -hmm. learn. I promise you that you will learn, but let's put the subtitles in English and the movie in English as well. It will work for you a okay. lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thank you for the advice. I will You're try welcome. tomorrow. Okay. Immediately, <laughs> I will do it. All right. Sabrina, so it was a great pleasure to talk to you. And it is a pleasure to have you in my English classes. And I hope you the best. Whenever you have any question, if you have any doubt about a topic, continue like that I mean that I really love that you ask me because nobody like asking right so let's continue like that and I am more than welcome to help you whenever you want okay okay teacher thanks and sorry if I have too much talk to you because my uh, the previous teacher I always say teacher sorry for the question no don't sorry don't, sorry. don't be sorry <laughs> yes very talk to you. I'm very talkative. I'm very talkative as well, sorry. <laughs> but but so I, I like am that. that way in English, in Spanish. Uh -huh, and now exactly. I am, if I uh, learn another language, I will be that way. <laughs> exactly. I am like that as well. When uh, When is your birthday, Sabrina? Sorry to ask you because I just want to know. When is your birthday? On December. Mm, I In see. December. I'm from I January see. as well, so I believe that we are similar to each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I feel the, the with you because you are like a friend. Really? You, my friend, yes. Oh. <laughs> because your eyes, your eyebrows, your mm -hmm. smile, 
And when I see you the first time in the class, and I say, oh my God, what is she doing right now in here? And when, really? when I it's Ruth, uh, no, it, she's not. <laughs> she's she not. not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, Sabrina. Well, it was a pleasure, okay? It was a pleasure. It's tonight. I need to rest. I know you need to rest. I Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure to okay. talk to you. God bless you a lot, okay? Sweet okay. dreams. Thanks, thanks. Bye-bye, Sabrina. Thank Take you care. Too.